I would like to share with you a perspective on sound and music as a living consciousness, living beings. And I would like to talk about this through my own experience. I hope that by sharing this information, we can further discover what's available for us. If you're interested in this topic, keep watching. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Eri. I'm a violinist. I channel sound and music, and I also guide people through my intuition. Music was something very natural part of my being since I was a child, and I already knew what I wanted in sound and music, and I would say that the response was over, already, already there in my body. And my childhood was actually quite bumpy because I felt that I was widely misunderstood. So I really didn't have like very close connection to anybody else, even, even with my family, like we were speaking different language, although we, uh, we love each other so much. So the everyday practicing time on my violin was the time that I reserved for myself uh, privately without anybody else. This was the, the very intimate time that I saw myself. I was talking to myself whether I was conscious or unconscious. And my violin knew about my, me more than anybody else and my violin was always reflecting my inner state and the sound was changing every single moment not just one phrase or one minute but every single moment and i could hear it really well and it was always telling me for instance like even if i was feeling like uh, kind of like a uh, happy flying uh, if sound if i hear something in a sound that is not really ringing, then I could see that something hidden there. So in order to bring it in alignment and uh, sound really well, it was always a big journey to feel in my body and with my heart and find the exact contact. That's how I developed very intimate relationship with sound and music. And I went through uh, different stages of my life through sound and music. Always, they, they were the, the thing that I could see myself, uh, how I grew. And then, yeah, the last job that I had was in the opera house orchestra and 2020 i had a big paradigm shift in one second and everything shifted uh, inside of me and all of a sudden my body became very very sensitive to energy and i also started lots of inner work like i was working on releasing old emotional baggages and memories and traumas from a physical body and so I became more aware about my body, my emotion and energy in general. And I've noticed that uh, as I shift my consciousness and as I started vibrating a little bit lighter, lighter because I released um, old energy, I started perceiving music in a different way and I remember um, one day I went to the rehearsal uh, to, the, uh, to the opera house and we had a symphony concert and uh, on the first day, in the first five minutes in, during the rehearsal, I started having a difficulty to breathe. And I was literally trying to breathe, like... <sighs> and the second day, I started having a headache. And I barely have headache normally. So I thought that it's really something 
wrong something is going on and i knew i was super sure that it was because of the music so i tried to have a conversation with some of my colleagues at the time and uh because i was curious how they were in in the rehearsal and then maybe 10 nine out of ten people told me that oh it's so amazing that this composer can can write such a complicated big symphony or oh this is one of my favorite music this is amazing basically so yeah i had no words uh and uh, for me basically i was trying to pass this time and i was trying to survive and then the day of the concert came and we were already on stage we tuned and we were waiting for the conductor to appear on stage and i was looking at the audience and suddenly i realized that what can i do because i cannot suffer in front of the audience i'm, I'm a professional musician and probably i had like 10 15 seconds to organize uh, my thought and i wasn't even thinking but i just intuitively decided that okay i set an intention to transmute this heaviness that i was feeling for all of us who were in this concert hall at least so i decided to put myself all the way into the music and i played out and the result of the concert was amazing and the people were clapping uh standing ovation uh, bravo, bravo, bravo. and i even received message from colleagues uh after the concert that oh, we are so proud of ourselves it was one of the best concerts but for me it was quite heavy in my body and um yeah i after i came home i was sitting in a meditation for at least one hour until i felt calm again and after this experience there were many moments that uh i felt very very difficult to to be there because not all the music is high vibrational and also because the opera and the orchestra is a big team and especially like a big um, huge opera it could be like 150 180 or 200 people involved um, in one production so it really depends on our emotional state of every single uh, uh, members Oftentimes I came home completely depleted, uh, even though we were playing the beautiful music or mm, yeah, one, one time uh, I couldn't connect uh, in meditation for almost a month because I was basically, I was like a ghost. <laughs> and also there was a moment that um, after, right after the concert on stage, we, they were clapping from and standing ovation again and and uh, the, my colleagues were looking at each other with smile but I was the only one who was uh, crying and it was not that I was so moved but just because I was feeling so much um, sadness and burden kind of energy so I had so much compassion and I just couldn't control uh, my tears yeah it was such a Mm, such a um, deep experience and as I shift further my consciousness and I work to myself more and more I've noticed that certain emotion such as fear anger grief this kind of uh, heavy energy uh, were less so much less in my body compared to before so music started flowing through my body in different way i mean uh, i mean flowing through me because when we play music uh, um literally 
our body is vibrating together with the instruments as a whole. So our in, uh, body itself is, is an instrument, part of instrument. Yeah, I remember uh, once I was in a recording session and somebody was playing uh, one of my favorite music and I said, oh, that's, that's my favorite music and it's so beautiful. And then another person came and he said, oh my gosh, this is such a um, depressive music ever. <laughs> and I was laughing. And then the next moment I realized that, oh yeah, actually I used to resonate with the beauty of this music in much more sentimental way. way. What does it mean? Um, sometimes in a literature, poem, movie, in, in, in art in general, we can embrace grief or sadness, this negative uh, experience or emotion, uh, as a beauty. For instance, like uh, um, we can imagine like a beautiful woman sitting in a, in a cafe on the corner in the city of Paris and she's contemplating and she doesn't look happy at all, but somehow we are resonating with what's inside of uh, her thinking, um, something like this. Uh, and all, all the details are described so beautifully. Uh, yeah, but as I shifted uh, my consciousness, I, I realized that now I don't feel, I no longer feel in that way anymore, but just I'm resonating with the purity of the music. There is this general, um, general um, impression um, of the music that when the music is uh, written in a major, uh, it kind of gives us a joy and happy uh, emotion. And when it's minor, it feels sad or yeah but even if it's a minor and it's deep um, doesn't mean um, it's heavy so uh, yeah it was an interesting discovery and another, another example would be like um, many many years ago uh, a friend of mine became an nun in Buddhist temple and I went to see her for her ordination ceremony and the day before I realized that so much sadness was uh, coming up inside of me because I felt like she was going somewhere very far um, ditching the normal life so to speak so I played the violin for hours and hours only for myself and I chose uh, mainly Mozart music because I love mu Mozart very much. And after a couple of hours, I felt so calm. And in the end, I was able to accept that that was uh, just her choice and she's not going anywhere. It's just as it, as, as it was. And my understanding was that I was projecting my sadness into the music and I felt the unconditional love as if music was holding space for me um, to, for healing to occur. Mm. That's why I felt so mm, calm. But now when I play the same music, I only feel only or yeah, I, I don't find such uh, heaviness anymore, but I just feel pure joy. And yeah, it, it's a very interesting shift. For instance, like um, anger and excitement can be confused. Uh, maybe I was, uh, I used to play so much more passionately. Well, I'm, I'm very passionate being in nature. Uh, maybe you can feel that. Um, but the pas passionate uh, side of me uh, 
appears in music in a different way than before. I think because I had so much anger, I used to hold so much anger inside of my body before, so it was more like a very dramatic way. But now that I released so much, um, maybe if previous version of me uh, listen to my performance of the same uh, very dramatic music, she would uh, say to me like, it's boring or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. And all these experiences made me realize that our consciousness does matter how we perceive and how we receive and vibrate music and sound individually. And the way I see is that um, it's like the, the, how the matrix in a society works. It's the same for music that for instance, like uh, there is kind of general agreement about one historical event or moral or anything like that. Uh, that vibration inside of us create uh, energy field that affects energy field of the music uh, that we are playing every time and as we begin to shift more so do music and sound as well do you feel that why i say the music and sound are living consciousness because they are all the time reflecting us and we are projecting what we want into sound and music like we listen to music or we go to we go to the concert because we want to have emotional experience emotional sensation emotional fulfillment something like this sometimes we are just wanting to have conf confirmation through music or just embracing or love um, but how we receive unconditional love it's it's really depend on on the person who uh, know the where we are at in our individual journey another example of uh, living beings um, is that um, every time when we listen to music, when we play the music, it's every time, every single time, it's a unique experience. Um, even if we perceive, uh, understand our own interpretation of the same song in the same way, uh, it's never the say, same experience. Just like uh, this morning, you are happy and in the afternoon something happens and then you're a little bit upset and this we, we are emotionally shifting all the time and uh, if our emotion is visible um, our the, the sound and music are also moving like this all the time and uh, yeah that's why it's very unique in every single time and every single moment. So what's the invitation that we are receiving from sound and music now? Is perhaps we can become more conscious about what emotion we are vibrating when we are speaking, when we are playing music, listening, when we are singing, whatever sound and music that we are making. We are sharing the sound with the rest of the world, so it affects the rest of the world. So it's really powerful. And we want to be responsible for this. Another thing is that uh, we are also invited to use sound and music as a technology to work on ourselves, um, use combining with other spiritual practices, modalities. And I would like to talk about this in another time. And I would like to also say that maybe 
conventional sound healing or music therapy field, they're not discussing about sound and music as a living consciousness, um, that they have the multidimensional effect. But I feel that without this aspect, uh, it's incomplete because it's our emotion is not one dimension, as I said before. It's not like, oh, oh classical music is high vibrational or, oh, no, 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 pop music is better or this music is better than that music. It's not like this. It really depends on the person's consciousness level and emotional state. Another aspect I would like to bring in this discussion is that um, I always perceive sound as particles rather than waves. It's just a different aspect of sound, I think. But I, I cannot explain really well. But in my experience, um, I, I can feel uh, when I play when I play the violin, I can feel, especially in my right hand, in my fingers, in, in my hands, in my arms and body, um, the the sound is constantly changing, and I can feel the shift. Uh, um, if it was visible, uh, like every single moment, there, there are um, different energetic imprints, like. Uh, geometries. That's how I uh, sense with my body and uh, I always have this image so uh, for sound like bubbles when you when, when we blow or you know play with the, the soap uh, water um, that's very close to how I perceive sound. Sound is like a flying everywhere and it's so playful. There are certain type of sound that I feel that uh, rings my pineal gland or it lightens up my pineal gland and it doesn't come as a wave but it's an instant experience like a hol holographic experience. So sound is an ever-changing entity and it's always living with us and music also. It's like as we are moving in life, music and sound are also moving and it's a really beautiful thing. And as we become more conscious about ourselves and as we all work on this ourselves and evolve as a human species, we completely shift our relationship uh, with sound and music. I think that as we open up our hearts more and more and um, acknowledge our emotions and let go of the old, it's going to be more spontaneous experience with sound and music because we are all musical beings. We are all born to be a natural musicians. I truly believe this because music is just what it is in, in this world. So um, that's all for today. So thank you so much for listening to my English. <laughs> and if you would like to share any of your thoughts, opinions, I'm very happy to hear that as well. So please uh, feel free to share with me and share with the community. Thank you so much. See you next time.